And tonight, only on First Coast News, an animal rescue story out of Georgia that's gone viral. And we want to warn you that some of the images are, are pretty tough to look at, but we want to explain this. We are showing them to illustrate the problem of animal cruelty, which the Humane Society says still plagues much of the South. Shelby Danielson has the story of a little dog named Liberty. This story all... This story brings us about an hour and a half north of Jacksonville to Waycross, Georgia, specifically the Okefenokee Humane Society. This story was so important for us to cover because out of such a tragic situation came so much love. Come here, sweetie. Oh, baby. Shelter manager Danielle Barkham has been with Liberty since Animal Control and Waycross Police rushed her over on Sunday. She says officers told her the dog's owner usually tied her to a tree, but this time he allegedly tied her to the back of a bumper. It was said that he had forgotten that she was there and loaded up his child or a child with him and took off driving for forgetting that Liberty was tied um, and the child kept repeating daddy dog dog. Barkham says the owner is now facing animal cruelty charges. Extreme burns and road rash all underneath her stomach and chest area. Her paw pads have been completely ripped off. She's missing nails. He went several blocks. The officer who responded on Sunday tells us he's just thankful she's okay since her injuries were so severe. That she couldn't keep up with the vehicle um, and had given given in. And this is our precious little Liberty. Charlotte De La Verne is the person behind the video camera. She posted Liberty's story online and immediately received an outpouring of support. We could not do what we do without Facebook. She says they are now able to reach more people, thus save more lives. The euthanasia rate was 93 percent. 93 percent. Now it is usually well under 10 percent. You know, it's unimaginable what happens to animals in this area. They hope this case, just like her new namesake, will send a strong message. Princess. Her name was Princess, which we decided that she needed a stronger name, like Lady Liberty. And because this is an open animal cruelty case right now, she can't be adopted just yet, but you heard she's already receiving so much love and support already. And if you want to make a donation, you can go to their website and pay through PayPal, and you can specify that it's for Liberty. In Waycross, Shelby Danielson, First Coast News.